Hello everybody out there in the Frontline Universe and welcome back to another comic book review. So, Venom Space Knight issue number one. Venom is officially now an agent of the cosmos. If you guys read the last volume of Guardians of the Galaxy, which once again, all new, all different Marvel, still connected to the previous Marvel, so I don't know what's all new or all different about it, but anyway... His symbiote has been cleansed, and now he's taken on the role of Agent of the Cosmos. So, while working with the Guardians of the Galaxy in their book, Venom's going to be going off on his own space adventures. First thing I saw when opening this book was gorgeous artwork. I loved the artwork so much in this book. It's not... I mean, I can't... Ex I want this artwork... Um, for a Spider-Man book, I'd love to see this in other books. This artist, whose name I will mention, the artist is Ariel Olivetti. I hope I said your name right. I apologize if I didn't. Uh, this is written by uh, Robbie Thompson also. It's first issue, so let's put that out there too. And this issue opens up with Venom being a space knight. He's chasing after... Um, he's sent to a planet to find um, a specific... Thing. I don't want to spoil too much. Um, and it turns out that his target isn't a thing as much as it is an alien race. Um, along the way, he meets this robot who's working for the enemies who have these uh, people hostage. And the robot's suicidal. It doesn't want to live anymore. It says, I'll help you, but then promise you'll kill me, chuck me off into space, do something with me, just get rid of me, and end my life. And he's like, we'll talk about that after you help me. And the robot helps him, and um, Flash ends up saving the aliens and taking the robot with him. And uh, in the end, the robot actually accompanies Flash on his continuing journeys. Um, and the book doesn't end with a the end for the first story arc. It looks like there's a lot more uh, to come for Venom with that last page. I will say that. And I left this very broad, very awesome. It was a really good issue. Uh, I was skeptical uh, going into Venom. I wasn't sure I was going to like it. I, I had my doubts. Um, I didn't know... You know, Flash Thompson's last run on Venom was not as um, well taken up as we all thought it would be. And being in space was another concern of mine. I'd like to say that I'm not as concerned anymore reading this issue. <clears throat> I love the artwork, and I'm definitely interested in seeing where this is going. Um... I need to see a little bit more to make a full judgment, but this definitely has a lot of promise to it. I really enjoyed it, and maybe it's something you guys should check out in your local comic shops. Give it a look over, and if it interests you enough, check it out if you haven't. If you have checked it out already, in the comments below, let us know what you thought about Venom Space Knight issue number one. Something new, and something that might be a breath of fresh air. Uh, I am looking forward to also seeing Venom in Guardians of the Galaxy now that all the events are out of the way well most of them we're still waiting on delays but now that all the events after the delayed event are out of the way for a while I'm looking forward to seeing some really great Guardians of the Galaxy books as well as where Venom is going in his book so check it out if you like uh, I think this book was really worth a check out in my opinion with that that's it for this review guys as always don't forget to check out more really awesome stuff over here on comicfrontline.com we try to give you guys as much stuff as we can each and every day if you haven't subbed already please do so we're in your sub box you won't miss out on a single thing and um we promise you guys will enjoy what you see till next time buddy take care and i'll see you in the next video